Hello, my name is Jack Conister and I am a Masters by Research student at Canterbury Christchurch University. Uh, this is just a short video talking about the project that I did for the year. Hope you guys enjoy. This little guy here is known as a chironomid. They're also known as bloodworms or non-biting midges. They are from the taxonomy level of family called Chironomidae. You can find them in almost every freshwater system around the globe, which includes natural sources such as river streams, ponds and lakes, and even novel systems such as reservoirs or tree stumps. Natural freshwater systems and the habitats that they support are at risk of degradation due to human interference, with the main causations being pollution and habitat destruction. Freshwater systems are important as they are a resource that almost all life on Earth requires to survive, which includes the human population. Kirinomids can be used as a biomonitoring tool, meaning that their presence or lack of can be directly correlated to the condition of the freshwater system that they inhabit. There are an estimated 20,000 different Kirinomid species in the world and around 600 found in the UK. Each species has its own ideal living condition. Some require waters that are high in pH, while others require low pH. Some require water that is considered pure, while others can live in water that is considered highly polluted. Because of this variation in living condition, and by identifying which species are present and which are not, one can make accurate conclusions as to the condition of the fresh water that it inhabits. The issue with chironomids is that they are incredibly tiny and because of this it is incredibly hard even for experts to identify them up to species level correctly. Another method known as DNA barcoding can be used but this method can be very expensive and difficult to pull off, especially when you factor in all the scientific instruments and reagents that are required to do this effectively. For my project, I've created a computer model that is capable of identifying different chironomid genera using images and video. Chironomid larvae were taken from the River Stour in Canterbury, and their head capsules were mounted on microscope slides. Using these slides, I took photos of each of the heads and then used these to train an object detection model. Here you can see the model identifying the images of the three different chironomid genera. All the identifications are correct, although this is only a small portion of the actual images I used within this project. This type of method can also be used in real time over a live video feed, as can be seen. However, this method of using video was not as accurate as using images, as the quality of the video feed wasn't as good as the images I used for training, validation and testing. While this method only utilised a tiny portion of the total chironomid species and genera population, it is good evidence towards the use of deep learning systems within the life sciences. just want to say a big thank you to my main supervisor, Dr. Rodrigo Vega, and my second uh, supervisor, Hanan Azhar. just want to say a second big thank you to Richard Van Roy and Scarlett Lee for collecting the chironomids and preparing them onto the microscope slide. I just want to say another thank you to Steve Brooks who identified all the Kirinomid slides. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Take care.